YouTube family. Hello once again. Welcome back for another video. It's Nature Boy 3000. Um, I just want to take this moment to talk to you about how to use these times of 2020 and everything being very uncertain. We don't know what's next for our world. It seems like everything that seemed stable, right, in a, in a world that's trying to sell you the dream of go to school, get a job, that's the stable path. That didn't really work out too well this year, did it? It's kind of like maybe this world and this perceived idea that you've been sold where our world is stable our jobs are stable maybe that wasn't so true after all and maybe the actual stable and safe thing to do would be to start your own thing what if you had your own little online business what if you had something that you couldn't get laid off from right it almost seems like that's the more stable thing to do right times are Times are uncertain. And the only thing that is certain is your ability to perform a skill. A niche. Something that you're naturally good at. Something that you're talented at. What are your talents? What are your skills? Most people don't know. Right? Most people don't know. You ask them, what are your talents? What are you good at? What's your skill? What's your hobby? A lot of people don't have those things. And I have empathy for you because oftentimes I ask myself, what is my calling? You know, and, and I'm, I'm being real with you because, you know, a part of me likes safety and security. And I like the idea of going to school and just getting a job and going the whole route. But it's like, not only do I feel like that's not going to lead us to a path of fulfillment and joy and happiness... It's not going to lead us there, but it's just a kind of waste of time. Your life is short, right? We, we, we've been given this gift of life. Why are we going to waste it working for someone else? So that's just a big epiphany that I've came to during this time away from work. I'm like, I, I can't help but think a lot of other people are just wondering and hoping, what, what, what's next? You know, maybe maybe what the way I was doing life before all this isn't the best way I should be living. Maybe there's 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 better ways of doing this. You know, and I feel like this whole pandemic, everything that's going on and just getting to reflect a little bit has woken up a lot of minds out there. Right. And I think all this was in a, in, in a weird way meant to happen because if it wouldn't have happened, it wouldn't have given us the time to reflect and to see the truth of what's going on in society, right? This is your moment to change. Use all this negativity that's around you as fuel to begin the catalyst for change. That's all this is. First, seek the truth. Sit down. Realize what it is that makes you happy. When are you most fulfilled? And pursue that. And I know it's scary because we've been sold the dream of your dream should be to have a nine to five and, you know, have a wife and kids and, and, and a stable home and all this. And that's all great. But it's like, all I'm asking you is to just start to to look at the bigger picture of how you're living your life because that's what I've been doing that's what I've been doing a lot of and the more I look at all the intricacies of how we live our life the more I start to realize that none of it is as, is as it should be you know none of it as, is as it should be so Use this time to really figure out what the hell you want to do with your life. 
right? If it takes me telling you to do that, then I'm happy for that. But it's just like, I, I firmly believe that everything that's going down is going down for a reason. And there's a great awakening happening within all of us. And it's, uh, it's an interesting time. But it's a beautiful time because I feel like massive change is, 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 all, is, is around the corner for all of us. In some way, things are going to change in a way, well, they'll never be the same. And that goes for all of our lives. So it just gives me more reason to keep sharpening your sword. Keep remaining focused. Keep staying disciplined. Because you never, ever know. It's around the next corner. Stay sharp. All right. Peace.